Welcome back to Africa Football, and today we have three entertaining stories. Lazarus Campbell is set for exit, Teko Modise thought Kaiser Chiefs move, and Nange looking forward to this moment. Welcome back to Africa Football, guys. Let's get right into it. Zambian forward Lazarus Kambole is amongst the first team players that could be heading to the exit door this season for Kaiser Chiefs. He joined the Amakosi in 2019 after having a splendid season at Zesco United, scoring the fastest hat trick in the history of the CAF club competition in the CAF Champions League. Earlier in June, Lazarus Kambole was rumored to be in touch with Tanzanian giant Tiangambiwa. This deal collapsed because the club and the player couldn't meet in terms of salary. After the third move, he remained at Kaiser Chiefs but has struggled to get some game time. Ever since, he hasn't started a single league game and with Stuart Baxter at the seat, it hasn't helped the situation considering Stuart Baxter doesn't like strikers like Lazarus Kambole. It seems he's not part of the plans for the coach and Kambole has been listed amongst the players that are free to pre-sign a contract agreement with any other club on the African continent. With his three years contract coming to an end, do you guys think Lazarus Kambolo moved to any other South African club or is his time in South Africa done? Our second story of the day is Mkonza reveals truth about Teko Modise's failed Kaiser Chiefs move. Former Kaiser Chiefs defender Supreme Mokonza has revealed that his side sent him to go and convince Teko Modise to sign for Amakosi. He was sent by the Glamour Boys to talk to Modise and try as much as possible to convince Modise to join Kaiser Chiefs. In his decision to reject the offer from Kaiser Chiefs, he said, Despite Kaiser Chiefs being a big club that runs affairs in a very big way, he said he didn't feel it was the right team for him to play in, considering he was growing up and at that particular moment he thought the club he was at was the right club for him. He said this during an interview with Mark G. And he later on said, Instead of Kaiser Chiefs sending club officials, they sent my former teammate at Rear Stars to come and talk to me. I felt that was a bit unprofessional, but Makonza tried his best and Makonza insisted that his side of the story was he not being sent by Kaiser Chiefs, but instead, but he came in as an agent to talk to Jasmine, who was Teko Modise's agent at that point. But Mkonza went on to defend himself by saying, Obviously, I didn't go there alone. Chiefs sent me there. I think they have forgotten that I was a guy in charge of recruitment at that particular time. One thing that I'll never, never, ever talk about is Kaiser Chiefs. Kaiser Chiefs are a professional club and they're a club that practice professionalism. Every day, any day. And now time to jump into our final story. Nange states, I was looking forward to this moment. Nange, who currently plays for Kaiser Chiefs, was delighted to score his first goal for Amakosi. When he got his name on the score sheet in the 2 0 win over Shekukone United this weekend, Nange came off the bench in the Chiefs' victory on Sunday, scoring his first goal in 12 games. Nange said, It felt great to have scored. I was looking forward to this moment and it's really a special one. Nange told KaiserChiefs.com, As a player, there are moments you look forward to, which is scoring goals and winning games. Nange also had special praise for his fellow scorer, Nkobo. Saying the 22-year-old is a class player and is a player to watch for in the future. It was a great performance from a class of players, Nange continued. We go to Rural AM to fight and to collect as many points as we can and to make sure, of course, to win. Running the game from the first minute to the last minute, we have to make all matters known when the game begins that we're there to collect three points. Every game we win, takes us closer to where we want to be. We want to be a professional side and the side that wins games. This has been Africa Football guys. Don't forget, we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. This has been Africa Football. Goodbye.